But we begin tonight with a serious health concern that may be connected to Wendy's. Dangerous cases of E. coli expanding and making people very sick. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. The CDC reporting 97 people suffering from the E. coli outbreak now in six states. Michigan reporting the most cases at 58. One woman hospitalized for nearly two weeks. She tells 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozarjian she could have died. Alex. Ebony Colbert ordered a single cheeseburger just like this one. And four days later, she checked herself into the emergency room. A lawsuit now says that her sickness is tied to Wendy's and at certain locations, sandwich lettuce is unavailable. The doctor told me if I had tried to fight this off at home, I could have died actually. Ebony Colbert says every Wednesday she takes her son to a Farmington Wendy's. On July 27th, they ordered their usual. He got his normal kids meal and I got my normal um, single with cheese. A few days later, Colbert's stomach was in shambles. Tuesday morning, like around 5 a.m., I started having bloody diarrhea and I called my doctor and he told me to immediately go to the emergency room. In the emergency room, Colbert says she collapsed. When they said that I was gonna be there for a while, I kind of went into like a, a a depression because I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Doctors later found out she was positive for a specific strain of E. coli. According to the Centers for Disease Control, this strain has infected 97 people and sent 43 of them to the hospital. I did get a call um, from the state of Michigan Health Department. And they told me that, you know, it was E. coli, but they didn't know where it came from. The CDC reports that a specific food has not yet been confirmed as the source of this outbreak, but many sick people reported eating sandwiches with romaine lettuce at Wendy's restaurants in Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. In a statement, Wendy said they are cooperating with the investigation and have taken the precaution of removing the sandwich lettuce at some restaurants in that region. The lettuce that we use in our salad is different and is not affected by this action. Colbert says the popular food chain has lost her business. It's, it's sad because I really like that my son loves going there, but I, I can't see myself going back there. Colbert is one of two people in Michigan suing Wendy's and their lettuce supplier, John Doe Corporation. Marler Clark, a food and safety law firm, is representing her and 31 other plaintiffs in multiple states. This has cost me and my family time and money. So I, I want to recoup you know, what I lost. For more information on this E. coli outbreak and a list of symptoms, if you are infected, you can visit our website at WXYZ.com. In Farmington, I'm Alex Bozarjian for 7 Action News.